cars have undoubtedly made an impact in automotive history. Their two-wheeled counterparts, on the other hand, have their own stories to tell. In the last century, truly incredible motorcycles have been produced, commanding exorbitant prices despite their size and purpose. Some are the pinnacle of performance and technology, while others have stood the test of time as an undisputed piece of history, and still, others are simply works of art. Having said that, motorcycles are just as important as automobiles. So as we count down the top 10 most expensive big motorbikes in the world, we take a look at the most elite and extravagant models. Number 10. Dodge Tomahawk V10 Superbike Although we doubt you can manage it, we can easily picture the Terminator riding this enormous aluminum vehicle. The North American International Auto Show hosted the introduction of this unique vehicle in 2003. It is not appropriate for any road. Since the Tomahawk can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in about 2.5 seconds, and in the words of its designers, can travel as fast as 430 miles per hour. This is due to the fact that it has a V10 four-stroke Dodge Viper engine which has 500 horsepower and a fuel capacity of up to 8.3 liters, making it capable of carrying out a massacre. The cost of this American Dodge automobile creation, which weighs 1,500 pounds, is $550,000. Number 9. Econ's Titanium Series FETIXX It is a model with exposed mechanics and naked architecture. It has elegant finishing touches and opulent features, like a leather seat created by the Italian company Berluti and a sophisticated ceramic exhaust pipe. Aluminum and titanium make up its structural components. All of these components work with carbon fiber to create a 440-pound motorcycle that is both lightweight and durable. A 225-horsepower aluminum V-twin engine powers the FETI XX. Carbon fiber is also used in its 17-inch wheels. 13 units total were produced. The Hollywood actor Brad Pitt was one of the first fortunate individuals to purchase this model for $300,000 and added to his miles per hour. This one-of-a-kind ride is worth $1.9 million. Number 6. BMS Nemesis The following motorcycle appears to have been created in a terror lab after testing on the most bizarre creatures. It even has nails or something. The yellow shine on BMS Nemesis is the first thing you'll notice. It's not just yellow paint. It's a 24-karat gold cover. This motorcycle gained notoriety when it was displayed at the Daytona Rad Hole Show. And despite its strange appearance, it is completely functional. This was demonstrated by the vehicle's creator, Sam Nema, the owner of Broward Motorsports and BMS Choppers when he competed against other American vehicles in the prestigious super-radical category of the entire rat tail. 
The vehicle has an extraordinary tire of 14 inches. It also has a set of LED rear lights, and thanks to the passion of its creators, the Nemesis was built in a record time of 6 months. Its price is as amazing as its appearance. It is not valued at $1 or $2 million, but at $3 million, as we have just seen in number 7. The Harley-Davidson Cosmic Starship was sold for the same price in 2012. Number 5. Harley-Davidson Cosmic Starship It definitely appears to be from another planet. The concept for this motorcycle was created by Robert Starr of Star Global International in collaboration with Harley-Davidson. But the controversial artist Jack Armstrong was in charge of bringing its yellow and orange colors to life. To capture his distinct art style, Jack used a Harley-Davidson VRO as a canvas. This was a six-month project that used acrylic paint and 37 layers of transparent cover. During a red carpet event in 2010, the Cosmic Starship was presented at Bartels in Marina del Rey, California, and quickly became world famous. This one-of-a-kind motorcycle was originally valued at $1 million, but it was sold privately for $3 million in 2012. Number 4. Hildebrand and Wolf Mueller That's right, no clutch or paddle. This is the world's first production motorcycle. It was invented in 1894 by brothers Heinrich and Wilhelm Hildebrand, along with Alois Wolf Mueller, and after it was patented, mass production began in a factory in Munich. It had a two-cylinder, 1,489 cubic centimeters, four-stroke engine, and a water-cooling system. It could only go 28 miles per hour, but by the time it hit the streets, it was a fantastic machine. The Hildebrand and Wolf Mueller had a high initial sale price, but it certainly doesn't compare to the price that this historic motorcycle now has which is valued at $3.5 million. Some units are now in Germany, with two Mueller and NSU museums in Neckarsholm, Germany. Among them are the Science Museum in London and the Henry Ford Museum in Detroit, Michigan. Number 3. Ecos ES-1 Spirit Despite being introduced at the end of 2007, it is still one of the most expensive bikes available. Engineers and designers envisioned a motorcycle that best meets all aerodynamic principles and knowledge. Furthermore, it was conceived of as a machine that allows for a perfect coupling with a pilot. Its design allows the driver to flex and bring his knees close to his body for improved ergonomics and control. The system of this motorcycle is so complex that the manufacturer recommends that the rider train for at least two weeks before attempting to ride this model. This is not your typical machine. It has no chassis frame, weighs 265 pounds, and has a top speed of 230 miles per hour. Furthermore, its materials are lighter and more durable. This motorcycle features one-of-a-kind front and rear carbon fiber suspension. It costs a whopping $3.6 million. Number 2. AGS E90 Porcupine This motorcycle went down in history and left an indelible mark. Above all, it's incredible for the $7 million it will cost to acquire. The E90 AGS Porcupine was designed as a racing bike by a British motorcycle company in 1947. It has gone down in history as the only two-cylinder motorcycle to win the FIM Road Racing World Championship Grand Prix in 1949. This model outperformed all competitors in the 500 cubic meters category under the direction of biker Leslie Graham. You're wondering why it's named after Rodin, whose spine is covered in thorns. As it turns out, it's because of the video game character Sonic the Hedgehog's speed. In fact, the cylinder head's cooling fins were pointed. As a result, it was given the name Porcupine. Sammy Miller owns the sole survivor of the eight cars that were built to compete on racetracks for eight years. He is an 83-year-old British Grand Prix driver, former trial champion, and owner of one of the world's most extensive motorcycle museums. Number 1. Neiman Marcus Limited Edition Fighter This motorcycle appears to be from a futuristic dream and resembles an android. The single-piece chassis is powered by an air-cooled V-twin engine. The most recent titanium, aluminum, and carbon fiber technology was used. This machine has a top speed of 190 miles per hour and was designed by the famous American department store Neiman Marcus, who was inspired by Confederate motorcycles and wanted to create a special edition line of motorcycles. This limited edition motorcycle was released in 2008 and is hesitant to relinquish its throne as the most expensive motorcycle. The production was limited to 45 units with a starting price of $110,000. However, one of the last were auctioned off for $11 million. For that price, no other bike has been able to compete. It appears that making motorized dreams a reality is becoming easier. What would your ideal motorcycle look like? Tell us all the details. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and get the latest content.